Okay, so uh, this is a reading from Emmett Fox for 16 April. The, uh, the headline is, Take Stock of Your Religion. And the writing is, What has your religion done for you? For years, probably, you have been attending church, reading spiritual books, studying the Bible. Now, I suggest that you have a spiritual stock taking. Ask yourself what difference religion has made in your life, in your home, in your affairs. How much peace of mind has it given you? How much courage? How much understanding? How much opportunity for service? For make no mistake, real religion does give all these things. If your spiritual stock taking does not turn out to be satisfactory, I believe you will find the explanation to lie in the following law. And the law is what you put into your religion, that you get out of it. If you put in 5% of yourself, you will receive 5% dividend or demonstration. If you put in 20% of yourself, you will receive 20% demonstration. Complete returns call for a 100% investment. And then from Ecclesiastes, whatever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. So today is a sort of a follow-on, folks, to last week's talk uh, about Jesus reincarnation in you. And for those of you who are listening uh, later on on video, please go back and read it or listen to it first. Today we're talking about the passing on uh, of attributes from our ancestors. Um, there's a, a ritual in the neo-pagan community titled uh, Standing on the Shoulders of Our Ancestors. Um, we're not going to do a, a ritual per se, but I think it's appropriate for us to acknowledge some of the bricks of the foundation on which our current lives stand, our current experience stands. And they can be positive or not positive. Today, I want, to emphasize, want us to emphasize the positive. But to, to give examples elsewise, uh, I remember one of my Lyft clients who uncovered a belief statement, men will rape me. And we had to heal her ancestors. And she said, here's the oral history of my family. I know my mother was raped when she was a teen. My grandmother was raped when she was young and my great grandmother was raped. And we can't go farther back than that. So she had inherited what we might call a life script, expecting to be violated by men. By God's grace, we got to her and changed that belief statement before anything happened to her. But today we're going to emphasize the positive. What gave you a leg up, if you will, and has enriched your life as a result of your ancestors. Now, Mary's not here, but she asked me about this. So let me be specific. By ancestors, I mean anybody in your past lineage, even if it's not blood relatives. It could be parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, uh, nanny, uh, anybody you can track something that has made you part of who you are in this life that you are grateful for or that you are proud of. Uh, I was reading recently of a person whose life is music, and she recounted having sat with her grandmother and grandfather who would spend their evenings making music and singing. And that is what started her on her path where she makes music and sings and makes a living doing it. 
Now that's that's a good example. Whether during this time or in other times as you walk through life, definitely when you see something that comes from your ancestors, or if you can track it to past lives, stop for a moment and give thanks. Acknowledge your past. And if you see something that's handicapping you from past lives, well, find a way to fix it. You know, lift up therapy is a good one, obviously, um, but there are other ways as well. The key is to acknowledge that we are not just the sum of what we've done or experienced ourselves in this life, but we are the sum of the parts of all our experiences within our soul, within our past lives, within our familial handing downs. And today, we're going to emphasize and invite everyone to share your familial handing downs. The positive, because Emmett Fox always talks, you emphasize the positive. They're not so good, just, for, you know, do something so it no longer affects you. So uh, I'll start just to say, uh, we're talking two or three or four sentences, not long. And if you have some physical memento to share, you know, feel free to share that too. And I see Anna and Janet have joined us. Anna and Janet, we're glad to have you for as long as you care, can be here. So I have with me today the pocket watch, the only thing I have from my paternal grandfather. Uh, and it has a dent in the back. My father told me that he was, when he was uh, two years old, it was hanging from the dresser and he batted at it and put a dent in it. It's also the only thing I have from my father. What did I get from this family line? Well, the Eastman family has traditionally tended to funnel itself into three professions. They have tended either to be ministers, to be medical men or healers, uh, or to be educators. Well, in, in my lifetime, I am a healer, I am a minister, and for many years I toured uh, doing shows, educational shows in schools. And even now I'm an educator. So I take my hat off to my grandfather and all who came before him, who led me on this journey. Interestingly enough, my grandfather, when he got, I, I only saw him three times in my life. He lived on the far, uh, far side of the country and, uh, you know, there just was not a connection. But when he died, he left me all his Bibles, which was a none too subtle hint, I'm told, that he wanted me in the ministry. Um, similarly, I was visiting a spiritual church, oh, quite a few years, and uh, the minister there, uh, working from the platform, came to me and said, your grandfather's here. He wants you to know that while he doesn't appreciate or doesn't agree with your theology, he appreciates what you're doing. Okay, so that's my contribution. All of the angels and all that is for having given us people in our lineage who could help us become more and better. Our path is to become uh, an ever closer representative of divine love here and in the hereafter. So we thank the divine for having given us opportunities to observe, to learn from those who are our ancestry, for having enabled us to learn from that, to build on it, to become who we can be proud of today. We give thanks that we have been able to share today so each of us could learn from others and their ancestors and from what we've heard perhaps add to the depth of our own being and our own connection with the divine. We thank you for all this good, dear God, and for continuing to guide us to an ever closer 
connection with you and all that was and all there is. Amen. Dear God, we thank you for having brought all of us together today to share and to love, to laugh, to grow together, to understand more about you and how we are, who we are in this life. We thank you for guiding what we've heard today to help us grow stronger, spiritually, wiser, spiritually, and to walk more fully in this earth while we're here. We thank you for guiding us as we depart from here to better be in service to you, to be, be better in service to ourselves, to our families, to our community. We thank you for guiding our feet, protecting us, helping us to return again here soon to this family community of spiritual seekers. We thank you for all the love you've enabled us to share today, all the wisdoms, all the joys. And we thank you for enabling us as we walk through this world this coming week to share some of what we've gained today with others who are ready to hear it and need to hear it. We say thank you for all this good, dear God. We thank you for the healings you've given us, the healings you'll enable us to share with others. We say thank you, thank you, thank you, and amen.